Hi, my name is Stephen Farrell and welcome to my dance. I'm here today in the hall to learn some dance which I've never done before. So I'm going to enjoy the ride. I have my lovely friend Chantel who's going to join me to teach me some dance today. So I'm really nice. I'm just... Yeah, I'll fuck this one. That's that nice. So, I need to learn temporary dance. I can't wait. So I'm about to get into it. Watch what you can tell when you was in trouble. You could move on ways I couldn't. So I was pretty nervous when I first started. Now it was my turn to have a go at practice. Well, there was times where I just wanted to give up, but I kept having a go. In steps, I learned rhythm, beat, and movement for music. This would definitely help me when I go out to the beach. This will link back to standard food, knowing my content and organisation. I look forward to teaching this in my classes as I found this very fun. I can foster participation and make sure all students remain involved. Hopefully you enjoy my dance. I know it's not good, but I had a go. to learn what drama is and we're going to act a scene with me and my little brother later on. So I'm just learning what drama is and looking at different kinds of drama and this type of um, on YouTube at the moment and then I'm going to look at what different expressions they use in drama. So stay tuned. Kind of throw maybe opposites uh, in. So before we go and do our own piece of drama that we're going to do after, I need to learn what different techniques there are in drama. So I'm just watching a few YouTube videos on the different techniques used, like emotions, uh, how people use facial expressions, their body language. So we think that's important to know before we go and do our own. I'm joined by my little brother. We're about to do our own scene. Of Toy Story. And we've been watching lots of techniques on YouTube to improve our skills. Hey, see if you can get this toolbox off me. Oh, come on, Buzz. I can't. I can't do this without you. I need your help. I can't help. I can't help anybody. Sure you can, Buzz. If you can get this off me, I can get that rock off you and we can we make a run to Andy's. Couple things. How do we express ourselves while acting and our body language Buzz, to show the audience our drama? So hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm a stupid little insignificant toy. Wait a minute. Being a toy is greater than being a space ranger. Yeah, right. Oh, no it is. Look over there. There's a boy who loves you greatly. Not because you're a space ranger. It's because you're a toy. You're his <sighs> toy. Now it was our turn to do a scene. A life of a uni student. What are you doing? Assignments. I just woke up. Why are you always on my case? I'm going to get the assignments done. I needed some sleep. You don't understand how hard uni life is. And what about those chores mum told you to do? I'll get the chores done. I always get the chores done and my assignments. Just lay off. It's 8.30. I'll get there, okay? Well, you better do it. What are you I doing? Do learn. You have to do Broken. your assignments. You different emotions and how to act. I learned over the journey you know I'm just that these the things are important for drama. This will definitely well, help when I go into the classroom. This will cover teaching standards 2.1, knowing content, how to teach it. When I go into the classroom, I need to foster students' participation and understand how they learn covering standards 1 and 4. Yes! What are you doing? Beg your pardon? I'm just playing the Xbox. I need some me time. I've been working on the chores and it's been a busy day. Do your assignment. Well, I just need some me time. You don't understand. I don't know who's online. <laughs> oh man. How good is this? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, Assignments aren't supposed to be funny. Well, I was typing in what I had to do for my assignment and then a fun, funny cat video came on. <laughs> you should have seen it. A cat video? Yeah, well, it, it also ticked out that, yeah, at 7.10, I got to 7.10, so I've got to wait to 7.30 now because I've got to do a nice even number. Why can't you just go at 7.11? Oh, 
I just, oh, I can't do that. So I'm gonna try and get it done. I'm sorry for waking up. Now, with time to visualize. Here, I would learn how to hold a pencil, learn tone, lines, different colors and shadings to improve my drawing. So for my third and final strand I've selected visual arts, I'm here to learn some more techniques that I don't really know about. So I'm looking at some colour, some tone, structure of lines and all that kind of stuff that I want to enjoy while I uh, learn to do sketches by myself. So enjoy the ride, might not be pretty but I'll give it a crack. So for my next piece, I like to sketch things before I actually get into it. So I'm just doodling around having having a go at different things, so throughout I've got to try and implement the new lines and darker shades to make the picture look good, so the next couple of hours I need to start focusing on the more finer details of my drawing, so I'm going to draw a family guy thing, so I'm going to get into it, catch in a couple of hours. Learning tone and texture. So, I was able to produce a piece that I was really happy with. I was able to create a family guy picture way better than my first one using like different lines, texture and darker shades. This is definitely going to be helpful for when I go out and crack. I'm able to understand content, selection and organisation for kids. This will cover standard 2.2. Uh, I've enjoyed the drawing again. Uh, this is something I'll have to teach my kids when I'm in class that everyone can draw. It's just about fostering uh, their ability to draw and getting the tone and texture and just the little things that can make a picture a little bit better. Thank you.